Hi, I am Dhananjay Nathu. I will be presenting to you the in-house tool room capability developed to quickly produce the prototypes required by the customers. Our customer base is in medical devices, industrial applications and aerospace. As required by our customers, we need to supply the prototypes in the shortest possible lead time to the customers. One of the constraining factors to meet the shortest lead time is uh, to procure the newly designed components from the suppliers. Due to procedural requirements and production load at the supplier end, it used to take longer lead times to procure the newly designed components from our regular suppliers. In last few months, we have developed our in-house tool room capability to manufacture such components to cater to the new designs which R&D is developing. This involves keeping all the resources required for manufacturing the prototype parts ready so that as soon as the newly designed parts are released for manufacturing, they can be taken up for development in-house. To achieve this, we took various action in terms of keeping the component readiness and skill, skill development in the tool room. From the various components in the motor, we selected critical few components which were having longer lead times for in-house capability development. Now I will explain you what we have done to reduce the manufacturing time of motor shafts. What we have done is we have created such motor shaft blanks and we have kept these blanks of various varieties of various diameters having knurling on their diameter ready in the Kanban so that we can use them to produce the motor shaft of the required features. What we do is we take this blank and then we well, then we cut this 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 motor shaft to the required length and to the required diameter as you can see here and we can produce the required motor shaft for the required prototype. The critical dimension of this motor shaft is the reduced diameter as you can see here in the step. It is in the range of 5 to 10 microns and the runout required for the entire motor shaft is required within 10 microns. So we are able to achieve it in our tool room. So this has reduced the lead time required to manufacture the prototype shaft drastically and we can build the motors and ship the motors to the customers in very short time. Now I will explain you about the flask. What we have done is that we have, we have started storing various diameter bars of aluminium in the tool room and we are, we are using our CNC machine to machine all the critical areas in the flask like the, the areas in which the bearings are sitting in the flask. The diametrical tolerance on, on, on those diameters are 10 microns and the runout on both the ends required is within 15 microns. So we are using our CNC machine to, to machine this uh, important critical areas in the flask and get it within the required tolerances. These flasks are also having the holes on the periphery as well as on the face. So we are using precision jig boring machines to make all these holes in the tool room and machine this flask in very short lead time. Now the next part I am going to explain is the disc. As you can see in the disc, there are various holes on the face of the disc and these holes are very critical. The PCD required for these holes should be within 10 microns and the tolerance on these holes should be within 5 to 10 microns. So we are using precision jig boring machines to make these holes and we are using micro boring bars to machine these bores to the required accuracy. Now I will tell you something about the motor tubes. We have uh, kept the blanks of stainless steel material in the tool room to make these motor tubes. As you can see in the motor tubes, they are having very thin wall. The wall thickness is 0.5 mm. And the runout required in the 50-60 mm motor tube is within 20 microns for in both the ends. We are using our CNC turning machine with the required accessories like tools and collets to machine these kind of 
motor tubes and we are able to get the required accuracy to meet the customer requirements. This is a stop ring which is used in the motor. This is a very important part in the motor which is important to hold the axial play of the rotor in the motor. The internal and external diameters as well as the thickness is are very critical characteristics of this of this stop ring and uh, the tolerances are in microns and these are maintained in precision lathes in tool room and given to R&D for assembly. Thus we are working on various projects and developing in in-house capability to make more and more components in-house and reduce the prototype lead time substantially.